Hey everybody, it's Mr. MathLog here, and this uh, lesson is customary lengths. So this is uh, lesson 10-1 in our textbook we're following, and don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathLog.com, and then you'll scroll, you'll see a big yellow toolbar on the right, and you scroll way over, you see fifth grade math. I show that in some of the other videos. So here's our common course strand for our teachers, and our question is, how can we compare and convert customary units of length? So we're either going to multiply or divide, and then maybe add some things later. So so here we have um, our customary uh, units of length. One foot equals 12 inches. I think most of you know that. One yard is three feet. You might not have known this. One mile is 5,280 feet. I guess I should have had a comma right there. And then one mile also equals uh, 1,760 feet. And what we did is we can take this number and divide it by three because there's three feet in each yard, and that'll give us uh, 1,760. All right, we're going to use that table to help us solve some of these problems here. So here's one. So Mr. Barnes uh, wants to build a fence along the backside of a building uh, for his summer garden. So here's going to be his garden inside of here. He needs nine feet of material on both sides and then six more feet uh, on this third side on the end right here. And he doesn't need any fencing right there because the barn is going to be right there. So the hardware, uh, hardware store sells the material in yards only. So how many feet of material does Mr. Barnes need? So well he needs nine plus six plus nine and nine plus six plus nine is 24 feet. Okay, so Mr. Barnes needs to find out how many yards this is of fencing material he needs to buy. So he'll need to convert that 24 feet into yards. So how many groups of three are in 24 feet? Okay, just slide that up. That's that same question right there. So here's a yard stick right here. And then here's our conversion table right here. Remember, one yard equals three feet. So we're like, so that one yard is going to be three feet right there. Okay, so what we're going to do is use this bar model. So how many groups of three uh, will fit into this 24 right here? Okay, let's just slide that little piece up right there. Okay, so what does this represent? 24, how many groups of three? That's going to be 24 divided by three. So over here, we're just going to go 24 divided by uh, feet in a yard. There's three feet in a yard, and so 24 divided by 3 is 8. Remember, uh, 3 times 8 is 24, so 24 divided by 3 equals 8 right there. So Mr. Barnes will need to buy 8 yards of fencing material. Okay, so uh, what operation did we use when we found groups of 3 feet in 24? Well, we used division right there. So do we multiply or divide when we convert a smaller unit to a larger unit? Okay, so we used division to find 24 feet divided by 3 gave us 8 yards. So when we converted um, the smaller units, feet are smaller than yards. When we converted the smaller units to larger units, then we divide. And then if we converted larger units to smaller units, then we do the opposite. We multiply, okay? So here's an example where we're going to do um, larger units to smaller units. So over here, we're going to use this table for miles. So one mile is 5,280 feet. So the distance, whoops, there's supposed to be a C in there. The distance, T-A-N-C-E, let me put that in there right there. That's going to mess that up. So the distance... Uh, between the new high school and the football field is, i got to copy and paste this, is, is two miles, okay? So how does the distance compare to 10,000 feet? So we're going to do, since we're going from miles to feet, we're going to multiply right here. We're going to multiply by this 5,280. Okay, so when we convert larger units to smaller units, then we need to multiply, okay? So here we go. We're going to go ahead and multiply here. So we're going to convert uh, two miles uh, to feet right here. Remember, one mile equals 5,280 feet, so we're going to need to uh, multiply the total number of miles by 5,280 feet, okay? So over here, the total miles is two because the distance between the new high school and the football field is two miles. So two times the 5,280, okay, and that's going to equal, and I did it two ways on this, you guys. I, I uh, multiplied 5,280 times two, okay, and then what I, what I also did is I added it twice together. So here it is over here, 5,280 right here times two gives us 10,560. 
Or since it's times two, you can just add them together. So if you'd prefer just to add them, just think in a new ways. If you just kind of get stuck on, you know, you're getting a little rhythm that gets you stuck right here, then remember, it just means you're you're adding this number twice right there. So anyways, you get five thousand or ten thousand five hundred sixty right there. So that's what's going to go right there. So two miles is ten thousand five hundred sixty feet. Okay. Now the question is asking us, um, uh, how does this distance compare to ten thousand feet? All right. So let's just slide that little guy up. So we need to compare now, you guys. So we're going to write uh, less than, greater than, or equal to. So we'll put our ten thousand five hundred sixty right there. Okay. So that goes right there. And then, so which uh, number is bigger? Is this number bigger or this number bigger? Well, this number is bigger, so our arrow is going to point towards the smaller number right there, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and answer the question. So 10,560 is greater than 10,000. Uh, so the distance between the new high school and the football field is going to be more than 10,000 feet. Okay, we're just answering the question right there. All right, so here we're going to convert uh, to mixed um, uh, measures here. So... Mixed measures are used uh, using more than one measurement. So here we're going to use feet and inches here, but we can do inches and and uh, or we can do yards and feet, or we can do pounds and ounces, or we can do miles and feet. You know, just uh, but on this one we're going to do feet and inches here. So we're going to convert 62 inches into feet and inches. So say like somebody is 62 inches tall, how many? feet tall are they with how many inches okay so we're going to use the table okay so this member one foot equals 12 inches right here so we're changing from a smaller unit to a larger unit right here so when we go from a smaller unit the 62 inches into a larger unit the feet right here then we divide okay so let's go ahead and convert so the 62 inches we're going to divide that by 12 and that's going to give us how many feet and inches remember 12 times 5 equals 60 so 62 divided by 12 is going to be 5 with a remainder of 2 because 60 from 62 gives us a remainder of 2 right there okay so you'd be like 5 feet 2 inches tall if that's how, how many inches you're tall right there so 62 inches is equal to 5 feet 2 inches right there okay all right, I always tell students that I'm 5'13". used to be 5'14". Anyway, uh, I'll explain how to convert uh, mixed measures of 12 yards 2 feet to a single unit of measurement in feet. Okay, so how many feet is this? All right, so to convert a larger unit, which is yards, to a smaller one in feet, then we need to multiply 3 feet times... Uh, uh, the 12 yards right here. So 12 yards, there's three feet in each yard, so we're going to multiply. How many feet is that? Three times 12, and then we'll add this two extra feet right there. So three times 12 is 36, and then when we add the two, we get um, uh, 38 feet total. All right, you guys, I hope that made sense, and take care.